Okay, the other thing that makes this, this water kind of harsh, remember I talked about alkaline sink? Yeah. Salty alkaline water. Look at the salt crust. That's because the water here that's coming out of the ground is full of minerals. So that's all the salts and minerals that this is kind of wet, evaporates and leaves it behind. That's another reason why we don't see so many trees. Okay, right here, this big tall, see behind us here, this big tall palm with no fronds? That's what they would look like if, if all the uh, if all the uh, fronds had been burnt away. So you would, there would be a trunk under there, but not normally. Fish that can live in the salty water. Mm -hmm. So here's some pupfish. What's it called? Pupfish, pup desert pupfish. Pup like puppy, puppy. Puppy, like a puppy, yeah. Because there's very, there are very rare fish. They're endangered because they were left, they were stranded here after the ice age. There used to be a giant lake here and it dro dried up and now there are salts left. And they have this water all to themselves because it's got sulfur and stuff in it. Most fish don't like. What I want to show you here is look at the contrast between creosote bush scrub. That's creosote bush scrub right there on that on that mountain. Remember that's the other vegetation type? Palm tree oasis, creosote bush scrub. You just kind of look at the difference. You can see how drastically different they are. Uh, you're looking up the skirt of a palm tree. This is called the skirt. Yeah, as you guys come over here, there's a one of our plants is on our uh, want to write down this plant name here, salt grass. So as you come by here, take some time and write down the name of this plant. We'll talk about it in a in a second. So here it gives this little sign gives us the common and the scientific name. If you don't want to write down the scientific name, just go ahead and write down salt grass right now. Because it's gonna be on our list. We actually have it growing at the college. It's an ugly thing, but it's important.
Oh, okay, then how old you should be to come out. Okay, you know it, but you get on the paper and you're like, uh... Okay, <laughs> we just left the oasis. Now we're in an alkali sink scrub. Remember the other plant communities? Alkali sink scrub. So there's creosote bush scrub on the hill. Palm tree oasis. Alkali scrub. Look at this. You can tell because it's scrubby and kind of ugly. Plants are low. Look at the salt grass. It almost looks like Bermuda grass. So you can tell it's, it's you can tell because all the plants like salty stuff. If I was to test the soil here. The soil here would be a lot saltier than in the in the palm tree. Uh oh.